everyone. Thank you for having me. Uh, let me introduce my panelists first before we move on. So um, first of all, we have Bina Sarwar. Bina Sarwar is a multimedia journalist, editor, and documentary filmmaker from Pakistan who focuses on human rights, gender, media, peace, extremism, violence, and South Asia. She has been an editor with major print and television outlets in Pakistan, has trained and mentored numerous journalists in the field since the 1990s. Bina, uh, can we have you on the stage, please? Um. Bina will be here in a bit. Uh, we have Saim Sadiq. I hope he is here. Okay, Saim is here. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate Saim on winning at the Khan's Festival and presenting <laughs> Joyland, representing Pakistan. Thank you so much for being with us, Saim. Bina is also here. Hello. Another panelist we have is Mizba Shafiq. Mizba Shafiq brings over 15 years of experience working not only, not only with local networks but beyond borders. Speaking of Z5 and the productions we have seen going abroad, Mizba has been at the helm of affairs and the brains behind a lot of productions we see beyond borders. Let's hear it from these panelists. So the culture connection as the panelists call. And before we move on to any questions, I would like to ask my panelists if they actually feel that culture transcends boundaries. What do you think, Bina? Uh, thank you so much, Barak. First of all, uh, thank you for putting this panel together. Thank you to IBA and Amber for this amazing conference. Um, cu does culture transcend boundaries? I think that's a rhetorical question because I think everybody would agree pretty much that culture does transcend boundaries. Um, um, it depends also on the language because if your language is one, then you understand it better and then you can, uh, it transcends boundaries better. So it's a kind of a yes or no question or we journalism to our students that yes or no questions don't ask them. Ask a question that allows them. Yeah. Thank so you. I think we all pretty much agree that culture does transcend boundaries. So I would move on to uh, what we can get more information out would be. Um, how, in what ways do we think culture transcends boundaries in terms of compared to other things we feel that it's, a very, it's one of the best ways to transcend boundaries, to transcend people and remove distances. So how, what role does culture, cultural exchanges play? Sign. Um, I mean, of course, yes, to the previous question. Um, it's different because I think maybe most of the people who are sitting here have seen more uh, movies, TV series from outside Pakistan than from Pakistan. Everybody sitting here, I'm guessing, um, would have seen more stuff from Hollywood, from Bollywood. I have seen more stuff from outside because just because of the number or the quantity of stuff that's made here is very little. Um, versus, I don't know, and you like it if you, you know, you root for it if you like it. Everybody goes to watch Batman or Avengers or whatever it is. Um, versus, I don't know, something like sports, which is said to, you know, but like when you're watching sports, I think you're rooting for your own team. You're rooting for Pakistan versus India. But when you're watching an Indian film, you're not rooting for it to be bad. You're rooting for, you're still rooting for it to be good because you, that's the worth of your money over there. So I think in that sense, entertainment or art is one thing that it's, it's, it's really about the person who's consuming it versus, and, and the art itself, you know, you will like it, you will respond to it or you will not. And that's, that's it. It doesn't matter where it came from. Um, or if it was from your own country or not, yeah. How has culture blurred boundaries and, or say, erased them, Misba? What do you think about that? Barak, um, culture, is speaking from subcontinent perspective, first, first of all, culture has, is the most common thing probably we have. Uh, India, Pakistan, language, ek cheez, emotion, ek cheez, values ek cheez bahut sari hain jisme hum bifurcate up kar hi nahi sakte na kabhi kar sakte the aur aaj ke daur mein jab itna exposure itni accessibility hai us tamam content ko jo hamare paas bahut zyada rokne ke bawajood bhi available hai 
तो आप उसको पाबंद नहीं कर सकते और इस चीज़ के ऊपर हम शायद हम कॉमन ग्राउंड ज़्यादा चीज़ों में निकाल पाते हैं विद रिगार्ड्स टू कल्चर लैंग्वेज इमोशन स्पोकन लैंग्वेज देन द डिफ्रेंस दैट सो या बहुत सारे लेवल्स पे बीइंग अ कंटेंट क्रिएटर माई सेल्फ हमें बाइफिकेट करना मुश्किल होता जा रहा था कि डिफरेंस है कहाँ एक्चुअली कहीं नहीं है है ही नहीं हम लोग भी एक से हैं दिखते भी एक से हैं जहाज वहाज यहाँ भी चलते हैं वहाँ भी चलते हैं तो कुछ है ही जो फ़र्क है तो या सुबीना इफ़ आई कम टू यू स्पीकिंग ऑफ सम रिसेंट कोलेब्रेशन वॉट do you look at as one of the best cultural exchange amidst countries there's so many examples okay uh, mai thode se examples deti hu sure. just you know ek national anthem jo hota hai na wo bahut powerful cheez hota hai log us khade ho jate hain you know seene pe haath rakh ke aankh mein aansu aa jate hain kuch logon ke national anthem sunke to bahut hi wo ek hamare kai sare dost hain एक केरला से हैं उन्होंने अपनी बेटी छः छः आठ आठ साल की बेटी से पाकिस्तान का एंथम उसने गाया और हमने और लाहौर में एक लड़की थी उसने इंडियन नेशनल एंथम गाया और उन्होंने दो तीन साल पहले ये दोनों लड़कियों ने का यूट्यूब पे उन्होंने रिलीज़ किया दैट वाज वन वेरी स्वीट कोलेबोरेशन एंड एज फार एज आई नो दैट नो हैज़ बीन अरेस्टेड फॉर इट येट हालाँकि के यू नो you know, हो सकता है कि आपने पिछले पैनल के हवाले से कि Uh, uh, you can be arrested for singing the Indian national anthem, perhaps, right? But that was two little girls, and it was very nice. Then a singer in Chicago, my Zishan, uh, uh, I forget his last name, but he sang Bhagavadi, I think it is. He sang the Indian and the Pakistani national anthems in one YouTube. Uh, you know, it's on YouTube. Uh, Pakistani national anthem, pen ke he put on like monocles and sherwani like Jinnah Saab, and uh, Indian national anthem ke liye he put on the टोपी एंड ही इज़ एक्चुअली इंडियन औरिजिन आई थिंक एक वो था फिर एक और बहुत ही ज़बरदस्त था आई थिंक अगेन वॉज ऑन द एंथम्स विद इंस्ट्रूमेंटल्स और म्यूजिशंस फ्राम बोथ साइड ब्यूटिफुल वीडियो तो ये बिकॉज यू नो यू आर टॉकिंग एंड हालांकि वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट आर्ट अक्रॉस बाउंड्रीज सम हाउ आई थिंक वी आर काइंड ऑफ टॉकिंग अबाउट इंडिया पाकिस्तान सम हाउ इट बिकम्स दैट राइट ये कुछ हैं फिर अभी ये जो पावड़ी वाला जो था became such a big thing pure matlab it and it became a hit because an indian dj picked up that thing and set it into a thing pauri ho rahi hai and be, that became the thing bushra ansari uh, jo uh, unka jo tha um, uh, gwandane ka jo gana tha unhone banaya music video uh, written by her sister it became so popular all over because zaban ki jo humne pehle baat ki thi so there are so many examples of these kind of and some of them were not collaborations as such they were just things that have abhi ali uh, uh, sethi ka jo hai gana that has that and that is is a collaboration because it is there's indians involved in the production also so in in some uh, films uh, you we we also see uh, especially jo bahar banti hain you see that they are indians and pakistanis collaborating and it's not just uh, uh, films and music and all Uh, मैं बॉस्टन में होती हूँ वहाँ पे जो डॉक्टर्स हैं सो वेन दे वर्किंग इन द हॉस्पिटल्स नो बडी आस्क के आप इंडिया से हैं बांग्लादेश से हैं नेपाल से दे दे आर साउथ एशियंस तो एक साउथ एशियन जो है साउथ एशियन नेस इज हैज़ डिवेलप्ड ओवर द लास्ट मे बी फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी ईयर्स और मोर अब्रॉड वे पीपल हैव एक्सेस टू ईच अदर मच मोर I don't, I don't know if that answers your question. That it does absolutely. So I'm having represented Joyland at the Cannes very recently. How was it like taking, uh, representing Pakistan, the actors that went along? How was the entire experience, and what sort of feedback did you receive from them? Um, it was great. Um, I, I didn't. I, when I make a film, when or any, when I think when anybody makes a film, they don't think about. at least i don't about representing pakistan like i i would be lying if i said i made the film to make pakistan proud or to represent pakistan i honestly have no interest in representing pakistan i have a lot of interest in representing myself and i happen to be a pakistani so i think that's enough you know uh, i don't need to shout about my identity or being like a, you know i'm not playing cricket uh, so it was great but i was kind of also 
um, the reception was amazing and everybody was of course you know hyped up about the film even before they had seen it uh, they were calling it like, oh, the film is amazing. And I was like, you haven't seen it. So don't, you know, why do you know or how do you know that it's amazing? But they were just already very excited that it's the first film from Pakistan, so it must be amazing. And everybody in Pakistan was also assuming that, you know, it's our first film at Cannes, so it must be great. And I was like, maybe you'll watch it and you won't like it. You know, uh, just because it's from your country doesn't mean it's good. Uh, so for me, I think we, like, the, it, I understand it because the, the whole conversation happens because we are so starved for seeing our people represented on XYZ platform, you know, in different spheres of life, which is okay, it's understandable. Um, but I, I'm more interested in seeing how the local people respond to the film, you know, and if the response is going to be different individually based off of the fact that it doesn't have a stamp of a major film festival or not, no. You know, you're going to like the film when you watch it or you're not going to like it. And that's what's more important for me and the discussion that generates from that instead of, uh, you know, us taking a bit too much pride in, you know, the, the whole festival thing because it benefits me a lot, of course, as my career. But I don't know if it really, if it benefits Pakistan that much. Um, yeah. That's very honest of you to say. I just want to add something to, to, to what Saim said is that, you know, uh, this p point about identity, that he's not, like, I think just because you, he, he happens to be a Pakistani, so it, he represents Pakistani, but we have al also have had so many other, you know, uh, such things, Manager mentioned, kya, like, uh, what I thought of from what he said is, ke why do we need, ke hum, Pakistan, may it seems, that bahar se legitimacy milti hai kisi cheez ko, uh, kisi shaks ko, to phir wo badi uski wawa hoti, us se pehle usko, like Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan, for example, when he became famous abroad, that is when he became more in the popular circles. Obviously, he already following a lot and with good reason. But there is one thing which needs that stamp, that he has a film. His film, his uh, voice was, he was in Dead Man Walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was with, uh, sang with uh, whatever. So I think that uh, we have to start uh, uh, doing what Saim said is appreciating something if it's good, it's good, it's good, whether it's good or not, it's good or not, it's good or not. I think it's very unfortunate, even if I speak of the times before uh, our artists were banned from working in India, before that, this has become a thing that, okay, she's done a job in India. Now, if I can say it, C-grade movie bhi kar liye, lekin kyunke India ja ke kar liye, to ab ek tag lag gaya India ka. And in the industry bhi people would talk about those artists ke ab unka attitude hi different hai ever since they have worked in India. Kyunke we have set that benchmark. Ke agar wo wahaan se kaam kar ke aayin, to kuch achcha hi kiya hooga. Halakke we have seen most of them doing projects abroad, they were not even close to the great work they have done in Pakistan. So that's, I think it's a bit unfortunate. And uh, coming to you, Mizbah, um, what, why do you think such collaborations, as Bina mentioned, it's not just about collaborations, there are other things we'd come to, uh, the role of social media there uh, in a bit. But speaking of how important do you think these exchanges online or collaborations or people from across the borders seeing content created by artists across the borders, how significant that is? In all honesty, Barak, that is the, the most important thing that should have happened to content probably years back, not now. Uh, content, we talk a lot about our Indian fellow colleagues, friends, my more friends are there, unfortunately. <laughs> but we talk a lot about starting the projects and sometimes in the meetings that we don't have a visa for the stories. And that's so true, that's so true in its essence that when the story is the same, when the story is the same, when human emotions are the same, हम ये कह सकते हैं कि इंडिया की अम्मा ज़्यादा अच्छी होती हैं और कनाडा के अब्बा ज़्यादा अच्छे होते हैं। जब आप ये नहीं कह सकते तो आप सिग्निफिकेंट तो हर हवाले से है। देखें कमर्शियली भी अगर आप उसकी वाइबिलिटी जब बेहतर निकाल सकते हैं, जब आप बेहतर और ज़्यादा जगहों पे उसको डिस्ट्रीब्यूट access karti hai TV, kitne percent access karti hai cinema, kitne percent access kar sakti hai ek paid OTT platform. Hume pata hai, hum agle paanch saal bhi shayad afford hi nahi kar sakte ek OTT khud khada karna. To, humare budgets 20 lakh rupay per episode se upar hoonai nahi waale, kabhi bhi nahi hoonai waale. To, jab aap, jab aap badi jagoon pe, behter markets mein, behter audience ke baas, matlab it's about broadening your audience, business perspective se agar aap baat karte hai to. 
फिर अगर वो ऑडियंस रिसेप्टिव भी है तो वाई नॉट आई कूडेंट फाइंड दी आंसर ऑफ वाई नॉट ऑफ ऑफ टेकिंग इट अब्रॉड हमारी इनसिक्योरिटीज़ पता नहीं किस वजह से बीच में आती हैं लेट्स नॉट इवन गो देयर बट सिग्निफिकेंस तो कमर्शल और क्रिएटिव दोनों परस्पेक्टिव से हंड्रेड एंड टेन परसेंट है उसके अंदर तो दो राय नहीं है Speaking of broadening the audiences, I also feel that a lot of these series that were produced under Z5, you were, you have been the producer for the very recent release, Mrs. and Mr. Shamim. I think a lot of Pakistanis must not have watched it because they have to pay for it, or they, there is a, no. The access was blocked. A lot of yeah, the access was also blocked. And initially, when Churels came out, after a, after a while, again when the access was. When a Jhooti love story came out, the payment platforms were blocked by PTA. If I can be as vocal. <laughs> only this vocal <laughs> then a uh, trails came out and some 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 reports came out that there are some some sensor issues which yeah. they filtered and they put it back and then dhoop ki deewar came out and <laughs> the debacle happened exactly. so there can be a thousand reasons of not doing something there can be million reasons of doing something so it's about a matter of choice of what and how we want to proceed as industry as government as the people in power how they want to take it forward and not just the creators probably it's very odd that the creators were pakistani the artists were pakistani but i think the even when making it they knew that the audiences are much more broader than pakistani audiences and now to they don't even have access to wo initially to na idea nahi tha jab project start hua hoga but ab wo to dekh hi nahi pa rahe so that is very unfortunate again jaise saim ne kaha ki ye dimag mein rakh ke movie nahi banayi thi ya ye dimag mein rakh ke nahi banayi thi to ab hame bhi pata hota hai international collaborations mein which is i think sad not in terms of joyland but ki pata hai aapko ki yahan ke log to dekh hi nahi payenge main bana hi wahan ke reh raha hu because a creator would also want to broaden nahi, the audience nahi purak phir hum sirf wahan ke liye nahi bana rahe phir hum un 2.5 billion logon ke liye bana rahe hain jo urdu aur hindi bolte samajhte hain wo tamam log jo is emotion ko samajhte hain phir aap unke liye bana rahe hain aap in 22 crore ko rok rahe hain rok le so speaking of hindrances and things like accessibility which stops people from watching the uh, content create created by pakistani artist what other hindrances or barriers do you think are the reasons these collaborations are rare we all understand the importance of such collaborations but they are not as much as we would ideally want them to be veena well i want to just uh, first add to something that misbah said misbah ne kaha ke uh, kahaniyon ko visa nahi lagta so that's a take off from gulzar's poem in which he said aankhon ko visa nahi lagta and he talked about rose uh, border karke par karke chala jata hu main mehdi hasan ko milne and that became you know such a popular uh, thing and irony ye hai ki jis tarah se digital duniya khulti ja rahi hai and there is more ex we are accessing forming friendships and collaborations and partnerships across the border digitally utni zyada restrictive physical borders are becoming और और वीज़ा और वीज़ा वीज़ा कहीं भी नहीं लगता है किसी भी चीज़ को आजकल तो हर जगह से आई मीन आई नो वन मैन इन थरपारकर जिसको अब वो छठी दफ़ा अप्लाई कर रहा है इंडियन वीज़ा के लिए ना इट्स नॉट अ कल्चरल कोलेबोरेशन हिज फैमिली इज़ देर उसने अपने बड़े बच्चों को तीन बच्चों को पाँच साल से नहीं देखा है उसको वीज़ा ही नहीं मिल रहा है एंड आई रोट अबाउट दैट स्टोरी विच इज़ ऑन आर ब्लॉग मगर दी अदर थिंग सॉरी रिपीट योर क्वेश्चन अगेन आई लॉस्ट इट बिकॉज आई वॉज Uh, why do you think such collaborations are rare while we all agree that it's a, they are very important and well they are rare wait sorry it comes exactly to that ke visa nahi milta so that's why visa nahi milta phir wo ek stigmatization ho jati hai magar main ek baat yahan pe pose karna chahti hu ke ek dakhyanusi ho rahi hai ek koi bachkana harkat kar raha hai aur wo keh raha hai ke ji aapko hum nahi yahan pe aane denge hum aapke artist ko nahi aane denge and they are being bullies because their people want that content their people indian people want those artists they want those musicians they want those actors but there is a group of people in there jo ke thekedar bane mein dande pakad ke nahi hum nahi karne denge theek hai aur unki dekha dekhi hum kehte hain hum tumko bhi nahi karne denge to what i want to say is ki agar ek bachkana harkatein kar raha hai aur ek jo hai bilkul is being a bully or on the basis of one small group of people that is doing this and so the government is falling in line with that to hame hame bhi hum bhi dekha dekhi unki yahi kare what if pakistan was to say hum aap se bade hain we are better than that hum aaiye aap aap nahi kar aaiye aap yahan pe aaiye hum yahan pe collaborate karne dete hain but i know ki nandita das jab mantu bana rahi thi she had so much trouble 
uh, getting the visas and all, she ended up filming a lot of Manto in India, you know. And Halaki Manto is such a, you know, it, it could have been such a wonderful opportunity. I think same for Ramchand Pakistani when, uh, when she made that, uh, when Mehreen Jabbar made uh, Ramchand Pakistani. So I think, uh, I, would, I would say that in terms of policy, ki collaborations kyun nahi hote visa they are just not able to so they have to go to dubai or they have to go somewhere else and the but like ms basad you you want to broaden your audience aapke billions hain which you could reach when you are cutting off your nose to spite your face because you are saying ki ji aap ye kar rahe hain to hum bhi isi tarah karenge i mean i think that that's pretty childish to be honest I even think. yesterday only i was at this event uh, at the us consulate where uh, 42 filmmakers from india and pakistan have come together to make short films so virtually we had people from india and here from pakistan we were having this event and they are going to have an event later in dubai for both of them to meet so neither they are going to come here or we are going to go there so so and then who benefits from that is the the, the which economies benefit from that it's the uh, middle eastern i remember jab jab shuru shuru mein ye ye ban wagaira jab ho rahe the flights wagaira ban ho rahi thi so jab balki jab friday times was being launched if you remember and uh, shekhar gupta and arundhati roy had come for that for that launch and i remember shekhar gupta at that time said ke this uh, i think ke sari jo sazish hai it's emirates airlines ki because, because um, sabse bada fayda emirates ko hua because they were flying everybody was flying via dubai you know so it's like really uh, uh, and and at one time pia and i really wish i knew the answer there might be some reporters here who know it was the only airline that flew to all the south asian capitals right. now i cannot get a direct flight from karachi to kathmandu or karachi to dhaka i have to go via a third country that is so ridiculous sorry dil ki bhadas nikal rahi thi thodi what challenges sim do you think come up when it comes to uh, cultural collaborations and deal with issues that come up every time one tries to go beyond borders i mean i have to be honest my producer was in i have many producers but the two lead producers one was sarmad khusat who's pakistani of course and another one again happened to be indian uh i'm sorry uh and we got her here she was here for the shoot the shoot was last year in 2021 in uh, from september to november um and of course i have the had the privilege of knowing someone who knew someone etc cetera, etc cetera. so even then it took us like 4 months of going to islamabad and having lots of tv with fawad choudhury uh and eventually we got it um so you know in in that sense i i don't know and we had a dp who who was from lebanon so, you know because i again not particularly interested in collaborating with only indian people it'll be great but you know it it depends on who the person is so we had one indian we had one lebanese person i had somebody from brazil and those were the three people and everybody else was pakistani we got all three here um it took a, a lot of effort of course uh i would have liked to not spend that time on on you know having uh making trips to islamabad again and again uh but it it is what it is i um I don't know honestly I I I don't know there are peop there are enough people here I I must say who um for most of the stuff I was able to I can only speak from my experience I was able to find people here there were not too many but there were enough for everything like I was able to find a production designer I was able to find a costume designer I was able to find the actors um you know they were not from the mainstream but I looked in theater actors and I looked at new actors and I found the people that I liked for who were you know matched my taste and um, yeah in a better world i would be able to you know fly to india pick an actor bring him here etc do all of those things but um, i i don't i don't have that strength especially after working for three visas i don't i think i'm quite tired i'm going to make sure the next thing that i do does not have people uh, from indian origin unless things get easier because i think it's a lot of effort uh and i think ms bas very brave and you know it takes just that extra effort you know i would rather spend that time on on the actual film um because it it i i sometimes at some point it does feel like you know this is not this is not what i signed up for this is not my job i want to make a movie uh so i much rather go for someone who's here or who's a little more bit more easily accessible yeah taking it from here ms bas do you did you ever feel like uh, 
I, knowing you, I don't think you would ever feel like quitting, but just like, hey, why did I even get into this, you know, getting through all the procedures and it happened finally… At ki diwar. <laughs> Please it happened share at us. Dhub ki diwar. No, no, I, I ended up in a safe house, so what else you want <laughs> to hear, Burak? It was, it was… Dhub ki diwar, as much as I'm still proud of it, it was probably ahead of time for our audience, for the people who also call themselves the peacemakers. It was hard for them to understand and digest. Yes, at one night it came to my mind that probably it's not for me. I'm putting so much at stake, my family, my so much at stake. But then I think destiny drives you, and I don't. I, then I've, I've, I felt that this is less of a reason to quit. There has to be a bigger one yet to come. So let's <laughs> let's see. Let's see. How much political conflict makes it difficult to execute such projects, Bina? What do you think? I mean, it, it makes it pretty, pretty darn difficult because if you don't have a visa, hai, is this working? Yeah. If you don't have a visa and you can't do it, because I mean, you can see that in the 1990s, when the Pakistan India People's Forum for Peace and Democracy was kiya so uh, at delegations of uh, 100 to 300 tak Indians and Pakistanis were going across each year uh, and having conventions uh, from Peshawar to Calcutta to Bombay to uh, Hyderabad, Sindh, Hyderabad, Dakkan, uh, Allahabad, Karachi uh, and all of that. Aista, aista, then in this, the next decade, visa de na band kar diye, were war on terror side karke. So political, you know, this thing. And then, then you have one country saying, ji, hum, when jab ek country kehti hai ki ji, hum nahi, hum nahi kar rahe. So, dusri wali us wat achhi bani hoti hai, kehte hai, nahi, nahi karte hai na. Aur jab dusri kehti hai ki nahi, ye to baut bura hai aur hum nahi. So, ek, so they, why can't they come on the same page at the same time? And I think what Bani Shankar Raya, jo yahan ke consul general the from 1978 to I think 83 or 4, he has said, you know, let dialogue be uninterrupted and uninterruptible. I think in the same way, cultural exchanges should be un uninterrupted and uninterruptible. There have been a lot of school children going. Anwar Abbas, hai, uh, uh, he's very ill right now, but I want to just specific, especially mention him because he was Habib Public School, mein, Habib Public School mein administrator, the, he used to take across school children for hockey and swimming competitions. In the same way, there have been many other youth exchanges. Uh, uh, there were some young, some students from the IIT in Bombay, uh, as it was called, or Mumbai, as it's called now, who, who said that we have to do this with science competition. And the name of it was Umeed Milap. So I told them that it was in the Aman Ki Asha, it was in the, I think, 2010-11. So, I said, Milap is a very Urdu sounding word. Are you sure you, I, I asked this young man, Ronnie, in Bombay, I said, are you sure you want to keep that kind of a name? Aapko, won't you get pushed back in India? He says, no, ma'am, we want to keep this name. We, we chose this name together on both sides. And they kept that name and they uh, did these uh, competitions, with ro robotic competitions or whatever with, with uh, alums and uh, I think, um, I forget, I think maybe IBM might have been involved in it as well back then. So, these youth exchanges are so important. And I think cultural exchanges will continue to take place no matter how, because this is human nature to want to collaborate and to want to work together and to want to work with people who, uh, you, under, who, ha, who, who you have a, some kind of a, uh, share something with, have a cultural affinity with. Resources share karne ki baat karein ya collaborations ki baat karein, to who is more difficult to deal with, state or media? Um, what, what do you mean, uh, who is more difficult to deal with? Major, you have a hindrance or major, because uh, to make a collaboration smooth, you need facilitation from all of these parties to be able to execute it and then promote it the way you'd want to. So where does the more, more challenges come from? I, I think that right now, there's a lot of hindrance at the political level. But I think what we have to do is to keep doing what we do. So we started, I don't know, some of you might be aware, we started, we said, ke India, Pakistan, ka chal, chalta let's look at the region. 
अगर यूरोपियन यूनियन हो सकता है तो वाई कान दे बी अ साउथ एशियन यूनियन आई मीन फार फेस्ट आइडिया मगर इसी तरह से आइडियाज आते हैं डॉक्टर मुबशर हसन से मैंने ये आइडिया पहला सुना था इन द नाइनटीन नाइन्टीज एंड लाइक क्या हाउ हाउ इज दिस इवन पॉसिबल दिस इज बट नाउ वी आर एक्चुअली वी हैव समथिंग कॉल साउथ एशिया पीस डॉट कॉम अगर जाएँ आप उस पर तो दिन यूल सी वी बिन हैविंग इवेंट्स एंड डिजिटली हम कर रहे हैं एंड वी हैव ऑल्सो स्टार्ट सिंडिकेटेड फीचर in which we have reports that we then send to um, the same report goes to media around the region right. so if it's big, picked up by the dhaka tribune by the nepali times by some paper in sri lanka by some papers in india by some papers in pakistan so wahi content agar har jagah jayega aur fir you know it, it there's a ek apnayat ho jati hai and you have people from around the region coming together and saying we want peace for the sake of our people for the sake of our economy and as a culture and and culture is a very good way to as a is a fantastic vehicle for that expression misba how supportive or not media is when it comes to these collaborations once you have your your, your finalized things and now you want them to promote and get the word out how supportive or not they are it it varies project to project basically kyunki uh, agar to अगर आप आप मीडिया को शायद उसके अंदर कलेक्टिव नहीं ले सकते अगर हमारी पार्टनरशिप्स उस तरह से क्रैक हो जाती हैं और अगर हम इनक्रेज uh, फील uh, करते हैं बहुत सारे लेवल्स पे जैसे कुछ कुछ कोलेब्रेशन उस तरह की थी जैसे हमने भी कुछ शॉर्ट फिल्म्स बन, बनाई थी सिक्स डायरेक्टर्स फ्रॉम हियर सिक्स डायरेक्टर्स फ्राम देयर एंड वी यू नो क्रैक्ड अ फ्यू शॉर्ट फिल्म दे आर स्टिल वर्किंग एंड दे आर वेरी गुड कोलेब्रेशन से दो फ़ायदे होते हैं एक जो आपने सीखा है आप उसको मोनेटाइज कर लें और जो जिस चीज़ में सामने वाला बेहतर है उससे आप सीख लें वो ज़रूरी है हम सब के लिए ग्रो करने के लिए हम अकले कुल नहीं हैं हम नहीं हो सकते हम में से कोई भी नहीं हो सकता वो जब तक हम इस बात को समझेंगे नहीं ना हम नहीं बड़े हो सकते हम वही सास बहू सॉप स्टोरीज बनाते रहेंगे आई एम सॉरी बट दैट्स ट्रू they are there on some platforms of mujhe yaad nahi hai alag alag hain to to coming zeal for pakistan shayad tha uska wo nahi that was nahi zeal for unity that was zeal, zeal for, for unity, unity. Yeah. that was zeal for unity that was zeal for unity was the was the campaign name it had to come up with so many others as well ha but wo. but of course wo theek hai wo wo hota hai wo to support system ki jab aap baat karte hain to wo या तो किसी का उतना ऊंचा वेस्टेड इंटरेस्ट हो कोई पार्ट कोई चैनल कोई प्लेटफॉर्म बहुत ज़बरदस्त तरीके का उसका पार्टनर हो मोनिटाइज मोनिटाइजेशन की वैल्यूज उसके ऊपर उसके पास उतनी आ रही हो जितनी सामने वाली पार्टी के पास हैं तो तो जाके वो चीज़ इनक्रेज हो जाती है बट जैसे हम आज बनाना शुरू करें दो साल के बाद हमारी पॉलिसीज़ और हुकूमत बदली हुई होगी और वो पॉलिसीज़ चेंज हुई हुई होंगी तो वो हम कभी भी इंडिया पाकिस्तान को लाइब्रेशन में शायद ये वाली बात निकाली निकाल के कभी कंफर्म हो ही नहीं सकते किसी बात पे सो वी जस्ट ट्राई टू बी स्वीट एंड हंकी डोरी आई थिंक सोशल मीडिया हैज इन अ लॉट ऑफ वेज रिप्लेस द ट्रेडिशनल मीडिया टू गेट द वर्ड आउट सोशल मीडिया अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स इज आर फर्स्ट सोर्स ऑफ दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन विद योर रिसेंट एक्सपीरियंस एंड अदरवाइज एज वेल साइम हाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट डू यू थिंक वट रोल सोशल मीडिया प्लेज इन दीज एक्सचेंजेस एंड नाउ आउट कम टू वट बीना वॉज सेंग जरूरी नहीं है कि कोई कोलेबोरेशन रही हो कोई एक्सचेंजेस भी इवन होते हैं ना कि किसी इंडियन आर्टिस्ट के किसी पोस्ट के नीचे किसी ने कॉमेंट कर दिया पाकिस्तानी आर्टिस्ट दैट एक्सचेंज ऑल्सो बिकम्स न्यूज एंड दैट्स थ्रू सोशल मीडिया So, how powerful do you think social media is? Um, it's. I mean, so far it's been very, mostly very kind. In in my experience, again, uh, people reached out from everywhere. You know, uh, Pakistanis were very very excited. You know, we again the 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 good thing is, of course, if it was 20 years ago, there was a video from our premiere where people were clapping and all of that. Of course, that would never have reached the people because there was no way. Now everybody. saw it before i saw it actually you know because i saw it later that night and by that time it had gone whatever you know like some many thousands of people had seen it already so it's it's of course very helpful it helps me at least generate a buzz for my film um but at the same time uh it, it uh, the 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 social media sort of has made everybody a journalist also in a certain way you know so there there are like there were i remember when we were growing up there were like three outlets now there are like i think 
I don't know. 300. 300, uh, you know. And then, so everybody's a journalist, so everybody's asking all sorts of questions which make sense, a lot of them don't make sense. Uh, you know, and so it, it, it goes both ways, like you said, you know, you get a one death rape type threat with every hundred messages, even though you've done nothing. It's, it's, all, it's all good. It's fine. What do you think about it, Meena? The power of social media? <laughs> oh. This is a nice slim one. Um, social media, of course, is the huge, huge power. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the I mean, you cannot underestimate the power of social media. Just like in the panels, we talked about that social media sometimes has driven the agenda for the legacy media to pick up stuff. But you can't have one at the expense of the other. Both things are very important. And I think to uh, you know, just to take up uh, what you said earlier, I think. Um, it, you, it's not a blanket thing. Social media is not a thing. Social media is made up of billions of individuals, right? So you can't say social media did this or the media did that because within that there are so many different uh, components, so many different layers and gr shades of gray and uh, you know like uh, and, and, and the trends and things that happen, some of them are completely manufactured. So you can't go by that, that social media may hua and therefore it is a, a stamp of legitimacy or not. I think that you have to be true to yourself and do what you need to do regardless of how other people are reacting, right? Because if you just do things ke log kya kahenge ya social media pe kya hoga ya trend banega ya nahi banega, if you're not authentic about it, so I think aapki baat zyada dur nahi jayegi because people can tell when you are doing something just for the clickbait factor. And I think we can never predict about the virality of something you beforehand. Cannot. I don't think that uh, the young lady who made Powery well, exactly. had any idea ke uska kit kya right hoga, uh, ittefaq se usko Indian DJ ne pick kar liya aur phir uske kitne saare versions bane. Um, so you just don't know. It's the only thing about this was it was an original thing she created and it just got yeah. so viral. But now you cannot predict this is going to uh, set a trend or reach to million of mil millions of people. Her followers like, kitne zada multiply ho ki even she could not believe it. Yeah. And a lot of people do not like her for that, but it's not her fault that no. she got a, became a sensation overnight. What do you have to add to it, Ms. Ba? Brax, social media had been a savior to us. Uh, कहीं पे five ten percent होता है वो difference of opinion सबका होता है और that is the beauty of this new age tool that we have but with me especially social media actually is one thing that kept us you know going क्योंकि हम एक-एक से जाके उसका feedback नहीं पूछ सकते थे लेकिन जब एक hashtag India Pakistan और Bangladesh में इतनी पाबंदियों के बावजूद ट्रेंड कर रहा था तो डेट वाज समथिंग डेट गेव अस द जॉय डेट वी डिजर्व्ड प्रॉब्ली सो ऑब्वियसली इट कम्स विद इट्स डाउनसाइड्स एस वेल बट देन वी कैन नॉट डिनाइ वो वो शायद बेहतर है वो कंट्रोल्ड मीडिया से और उस 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 येलो जर्नलिज्म से बेहतर है जिससे हम लड़ने it's okay, we are as open to have criticism and constructive criticisms as we are to have applauses for ourselves. So social media to us, it was probably the only thing that we were living and we would also be surviving. If it was not have been there, it was difficult. What was said in front of us, we had to believe in that. Right, right. Social media, especially in COVID times, when we couldn't use so many other sources, we could not travel, we could not be physically everywhere. So I think that actually, again, plus minus on both sides, but we cannot deny the power it has. I think on a parting note, I would like to have your stance or input on what do you think about Miss Marvel? Because I was working on a story recently, Miss Marvel, I had to speak to people about their opinions and what do they think of this representation. So it varies. So what do you all three actually feel about the cultural and references that we see from Pakistan in the series that's being watched by the world right now? Sign. 
I haven't seen it myself, so I, 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 uh, I, I will go and watch it. I think I'll go watch it in a theater. Uh, but it's great. I think it's great. Of course, uh, I hope we don't go in expecting like the moon because it is a Marvel series. Marvel is just generally, in my opinion, a stupid franchise overall. So, you know, you have to take it with a pinch of salt with like, you know, the, the Pakistani version of it is not going to be smarter. It's probably going to be a little dumber than their usual stuff. But it's great, you know, you have Nimra Butcha, she's my friend, I'm so excited that she's there, you know, there's Fawad and there's Mevish and um, all sorts of people. It's great, I think it opens avenues for actors here who probably want to do a bunch of other things than just the, the Hum TV or the Geo. It opens a door for them, it, it, you know, it's not uh, going to have a crazy influx, but I think it's, it's, a big, it's a big step that they can get work abroad. Um, in their own language. I think the, the West will probably realize that we speak English probably better than we speak Urdu, most of us at least who are, you know, in the media industry at least. So th there's plenty of work that they can find there and maybe by seeing that kind of short-term brain drain, our creators here will panic and start making better stuff. So it, I think it goes both ways and it's a good thing, yeah. Let's hope for that, what you mentioned at the last. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I have not seen it Miss Marvel, but uh, I think it's a great thing. I learned about it some time ago from Sameen Naimad who's playing the Dadi yes. or Nani. So I'm very excited to see it and I hope it's a great success. Uh, you know, agreeing with both the panelists, yes. It's good to have our, you know, I am yet to comment of, I, that I will do when I've, I'll be watching it. Like in, वो क्यों बनी है और वो क्यों है मुझे अभी समझना है लेकिन अच्छा है क्योंकि बहुत सारी चीजें तो अच्छी ही हैं अगर वो सिर्फ कल्चर भी प्रमोट कर रहे हैं तो एक इंडोसमेंट और सही ठीक है नॉट डेट हमारी मार्केट को वो ठप्पे की वजह से तो कभी भी नहीं बिना शायद हमारी मार्केट को वो उस 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 पोटेंशियल से देख रहे हैं वो और उस वो मार्केट ग्लोबली एक्जिस्ट करती है जिनके लिए वो चीज नरेट की जा रही है शायद मेरे लिए वो ज़्यादा इनकरेजिंग है एस अ कंटेंट क्रिएटर एंड एस अ बिजनेस पर्सन इस वेल आई थिंक वी वुड ओपन द फ्लोर टू क्वेश्चंस बिकॉज़ हमेशा क्वेश्चंस ज़्यादा और वक्त कम होता है तो आई थिंक वील टेक इट फ्रॉम देयर Hi, my name is Rabia Mushtaq and I'm a Sahafi. I have two questions, one from Saim and one from Bina. Bina, I will ask you the first question. You spoke about Aman Ki Aasha Wali campaign. So I wanted to understand that it was more at that time, like you mentioned 2010s and 11s and 12s. My own thesis was about it. I remember at that time it was on its peak. So why can't we, you know, sustain campaigns like this? Because it was a cross collaboration between Times of India and Jung. So is there any kind of campaign this work, where I think now is very necessary, and which are both of our countries' situation? You never know how long we would need campaigns like this. So that was uh, the question that I wanted to ask you. Why don't we have those kind of campaigns anymore? Uh, Saim, say, my question is that like you spoke about the fact that you, when you made Joyland, you weren't expecting to, you know, represent Pakistan or anything of that sort. And when you talk about releasing Joyland in Pakistan, so I wanted to understand because you know your film, uh, Joyland, and your last film, um, they explored these themes of queerness and. Um, you know, जो भी subjects होते हैं, which obviously हमारे यहाँ तो उसको एक indie independent film के उससे लिया जाता है। But then again, you know, when you talk about releasing it locally, and then you you also mentioned that you know how many people would like it or not like it, और उसमें उस सारे चीजों को you know मद्देनजर रखते हुए, how prepared are you for the band band brigade also? And yes, so you know that also talks about the question of again, we are now very happy that it went into a festival and it got all this appreciation. But then again, you can you, you always, you know, you prepared to expect the unexpected. So that's, that, those are the two questions. Thank you. Thank, thank you, uh, Rabia, for your question. Aman Ki Asha, like you said, was a joint collaboration of the Times of India and the Jung Group. And now it's online. It's uh, www.amankiasha.com. And I'm still editing it. 
मगर उसके दोनों इदारों की तरफ से वो जो मोमेंटम था दैट काइंड ऑफ फिजल्ड आउट इन अबाउट 2014 नाउ आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू गो इनटू द रीजंस व्हाई इट फिजल्ड आउट बट हामिद मीर वाज हियर ही हैज जस्ट लेफ्ट एंड जब हामिद मीर व्हेन ही फेस व्हेन ही वाज अटैक्ड एंड उसके बाद जो जंग रूप जियो के साथ जो दे फेल इनटू द बैड बुक्स सो दे वेंट ऑन द बैक फुट एंड एवरीथिंग यू नो डीलिंग विद अदर स्टफ एंड इन इंडिया यू हैड द राइज ऑफ द मोदी रजीम and so i guess they were dealing with other stuff so that campaign is still there magar uske on ground jo cheeze thi the literary events musical events jaise strings or uh, the, the strings or indian ocean ka joint concerts the um, there were uh, uh, mushairas with gulzar and amitabh bachan and we had a urdu uh, women's mushaira here at the arts council in karachi jisme mehdi hasan actually that might have been his last public appearance he came on a wheelchair and the indian artist mujhe yaad hai mehdi hasan को जब मिले तो उनके पाँच हुए और किस तरह से उनके हाथ चूम के रो रहे थे जो इंडियन शायर शायर जो आए थे एट दैट मुशायरा एट द आर्ट्स काउंसिल इन 2010 सो दैट्स 12 इयर्स अगो सो इट हैज गॉन इट हैज बट बट देर आर अदर थे अमन की आशा दैट ऑन ग्राउंड कैंपेन जो था विद ऑल दीज इवेंट्स बिजनेस के uh, उस पर इकोनॉमिक कॉन्फ्रेंस हुए थे बिजनेस पीपल के साथ यूथ कॉन्फ्रेंस हुए थे तो वो ऑन ग्राउंड इवेंट्स ख़त्म हो गए बिकॉज ऑफ दीज अदर थिंग्स मगर वो ऑनलाइन चल रहा है उसका कंटेंट हम फिर भी मतलब वी आर पुटिंग अप कंटेंट एंड ऑल दैट बट देर आर अदर इनिशिएटिव्स लाइक साउथ एशिया पीस रजा रूमी इज हियर ही इज़ पार्ट ऑफ दैट एज वेल देर आर लॉट ऑफ अदर पीपल हु आर पार्ट ऑफ इट एंड इट्स नॉट बैक बाई एनी कॉपरेशन साउथ एशिया पीस डॉट कॉम जिस कैसे मैं पहले बात कर रही थी दैट इट्स मोर ऑफ अ रीजनल एफर्ट टू एंड इट डज नॉट हैव एनी ऑन ग्राउंड कम्पोनेंट एज येट अगेन बिकॉज ऑफ द वीज़ा इशू एंड द फंडिंग इशू आप किस तरह से करेंगे सो अभी फ़िलहाल ये इस पेंडेमिक से हमें एक जो अब सिल्वर लाइनिंग मिली है वो ये है कि जो डिजिटल दरवाजे एक तरह से खुले हैं या हमारी आँखें जो हैं वो खुली हैं टू वॉज द डिजिटल वी हैव स्टार्ट यूटिलाइजिंग दैट मोर सो वी बिन यूजिंग दैट दैट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ इट सो दैट्स टू आई होप दैट आंसर्स योर क्वेश्चन सम वॉट Let him answer the second question. Um, your first question was about the release. Yes, it is going to hopefully, inshallah, release at some point between. We're still deciding a date, but between October to December this winter. Uh, about if I'm prepared for the potential uh, band brigade. Yes and no because you know. nobody's like nobody here has seen the film i have because i made it so i know this you know it like there is a word, there is nothing uh i don't know what you'll ban out of it you know except for your discomfort that you may feel when you watch the film which is absolutely my intention but i don't know what you'll censor or what you'll take out you know so it's of course censors can take out anything uh but uh, it's a film about a conservative right winged family uh and them sort of having a sort of realization that they're all sexual people also despite their moralities you know um i am sure all of our very religious and conservative parents have had that realization at some point and not been you know courageous enough to talk about it uh, pretty much like the characters in my movie so i think there's a lot to relate for the band brigade in my movie because it is about them and it's not mocking them or it's not making fun of them or downgrading them i am actually i come from a very conservative right wing family and i am interested you know so for me um i think uh, maybe the liberals will probably have more problem with the film than the conservative people because you know they'll be like why are we not very represented in the film yes the film does have a trans character as one of the many characters in the film uh and it's not like we have not all seen or interacted with trans people you know they're everywhere they're in a shopping mall there there is a news anchor mashallah now so i i i don't know what part of it is going to get banned or get edited out um uh yeah but i hope it generates uh, some sort of a discourse you know which only comes out of getting a bit uncomfortable with something and yeah a lot of people will uh probably ask you know that oh th- or say things that are like oh this is not our culture or this is not this and that but i am pretty sure those people wouldn't have seen the film uh i think once you've seen the film at least you can criticize it on many other levels but not on the level that oh this is not our culture because it very much is uh yeah thank you sign yes please 
Thank you very much. My name is Sachal and I teach here. Um, I have a, rather have a comment and a suggestion, um, not a question. Uh, putting forward uh, what uh, Ms. Bina Sarwar was talking about. Uh, the culture connection has so much, uh, I mean, disconnect. Uh, in, in the sense that the borders which you are mentioning that they are getting more harsh and more brutal and more hard and we hope to see soft borders when it comes but you know the, this, the situation in Pakistan is that other than India we don't have any culture connection with any of our neighbors and if you talk about South Asia it's the least integrated region in the world uh, when world is going to integrate uh, countries are getting integrated with each other we are the least integrated we don't know about Bangladesh you know, we, we were together for 24 years, but how much connected we have with their youth. So, um, sorry for that, but now there are more, you know, media should play a role in formulating some sort of, you know, forums in which youth and young people can connect with each other. South Asia Peace um, Initiative is a good one among Kiyashas, you know, we have an example. So perhaps maybe, you know, people like you should take a lead and connect region, uh, people of this region. Thank you. Yeah, it's okay. I got it. <laughs> um, yeah, no, thank you for that uh, comment and kind of question. I think just to clear a misconception that yes, you're right, sir, Pakistan ka India ke saath us tarah se border hai. That's right. Magar humne pishle tera mahino mein, since last April se leke this past May tak, on the last Sunday of every month, South Asia Peace held a public discussion on one issue or the other, ranging from Ekta Mara on sports women, challenges and wins. So we had a swimmer from Sri Lanka, we had a wrestler from, um, uh, I forget, the, from, we had different sports women, tennis player from uh, Nepal, um, uh, Sana Meer, uh, my cricket team ki former captain, she was there, uh, Khalda Popal, who, was the, uh, who had to, at that point, she had left she had to leave Afghanistan because Taliban Agathe and she was speaking from another location, former captain of the Afghanistan women's football team. And, and from India, there were different, and there were sports women from around the region. Now, um, the, the thing is that you, you may say that they don't have any connection, but actually, the connections are in their connections and the things that so it was amazing and uh, we, Najam Sethi made the closing remarks for that and he suggested that we, it's enough to make a book out of this. Okay, that's just sports women ki baat hai. Phir hum kar chuke hai on art and music where we had a bowl from India, we had a nun from Nepal, we had a, uh, somebody from, we had different singers from around the region. Uh, Sef Samijo who will be performing tomorrow here, he was one of the speakers at that. We've ha held it, did it on health. For example, agar health ke hawale se hum ek dush, uh, region se seek sakte hai. Uh, well, okay, 13 months, 13 topics. And we had, we found connections for each of them from people from each, labor rights we have done. We have done the rights of the incarcerated, prisoners, okay, prison, prison, prison culture, prison, pop, prison ka kya hai. Hum ne human rights pe kiya. Hum ne kiya the impact of 9-11 on uh, South Asia and South Asians at which Noam Chomsky came and spoke also. So, uh, I think it's, uh, uh, my, it might be a misconception to say that we, just because we only share a border with India. Uh, I'll give you another example. When I was at the Neiman, uh, uh, at, at Harvard, the Neiman Foundation for Journalism at Harvard, uh, one year they had, uh, I think that was the, maybe the only time they had an Indian and Pakistani at the same time. The Indian was from Kerala, from southernmost tip of India, and the Pakistani was from North Waziristan. They have no common language. Unka khana bhi Kerala mein itni tez mirche. North Waziristan mein to bas namak beshak basically dalti hai, right? Jo log hai hai yaan pe. So, magar they had, so their families became the closest of that whole group. You know, even though there's no, not, no border, no language, nothing, connection. So there is, you know, a South Asian-ness. Jab bahar jate hai log, to desi South Asians ek ban jata hai. So we need, and it is a very geographically in, integrated region. There are a lot of subgroups in that region. And maybe I was talking to Mani Shankar Iyer, he was in Boston the other, you know, he was in Boston just now and I did an interview with him just before I came. And he actually gave a very interesting perspective. He said rather than see, thinking of South Asia as nations of South Asia, think of it as lots of sub-regions because you have Bengal, we have the two Bengals, you have the two Punjabs, we have the hill, foothills of uh, Nepal and in India, you have the southern part of India which is, you know, it's, it's Sri Lanka. So you have a lot of connections between regions 
and then across. So it's kind of, you know, we need to like uh, get away from the hard border kind of thing and think of it like a penumbra, like soft, you know, integrated, you know, fluid identities. We have a question from there. Mohammed Shaur name mera Summer TV se. Acha hum pehli jo session ke andar guftu ho rahi thi usme hum ye keh rahe the ki hume visa nahi milta hai wahan ka content bahut acha hai culture wo bahut apna jo hai wo content mein dikhane ki koshish karte hain. Acha hum jo hai wo hamari bhi bahut tarikh hai hamare paas bhi culture hai to humne apna jo hai wo kitna kaam kiya hai matlab hamara culture hum dekhte hain ki humne koi web series dekhi wahan par jo hai wo hit ho jati hai to yahan par bhi aari hoti hai. और उसके डायलॉग्स और उसकी जो है वो एक पूरा सिनेरियो बन जाता है और वो अपने आप को अक्स करना शुरू कर देते हैं नौजवान मतलब एक फॉर एग्जांपल ले लें कोई एक यूट्यूबर होगा और वो अपना एक डायलॉग कहेगा कि सीन कुछ ऐसे हैं तो हर यूनिवर्सिटी के अंदर जो है बच्चा कहेगा सीन तो कुछ ऐसे आ जाओ चाय पीने चलते हैं इस तरह करते हैं इसी तरीके से वेब सीरीज़ के अंदर बहुत सारे मुख्तलिफ और ऐसे डायलॉग हैं जो इज्तनाव करना चाहिए लेकिन लोग कहते हैं और उसको जो है वो एडोप्ट कर लिया है तो हमने जो है वो हमारी इंडस्ट्री के लोगों ने हमारे कल्चर को जिंदा रखने के लिए या हमारी तारीख हमारी तहजीब को बताने के लिए ऐसा क्या काम किया है अभी तक जिसको हम जो है वो सपोर्ट करें और कहें कि बहुत अच्छा काम किया अभी आपने एक क्वेश्चन किया था कि हमारे जो है वो बजट 20 लाख से ज़्यादा नहीं हो पाएगा या कुछ तो मतलब जनरेशन जो है वो अगर उसको सपोर्ट कैसे करेगी जब तक वो जो इज़ अ रिज़ल्ट नहीं मांगी कि रिज़ल्ट कैसे क्या आया अभी तक हमने क्या ऐसा ऐसे काम कर चुके हैं इसके ऊपर कि हम उसको सपोर्ट करें मिसबा वुड यू लाइक टू टेक दिस मुझे मुझे आप एग्जैक्टली exactly आपका सवाल क्या है कि पाकिस्तान की मीडिया इंडस्ट्री ने ऐसा क्या किया है अपने अपने आप को इतना बड़ा करने के लिए कि वो बाहर जा सकें नहीं बाहर का नहीं कह रहा मैं वैसे कह रहा हूँ कि हमारे जो है वो अक्सर कहते हैं कि मीडिया के असरा जो है वो नौजवानों के अंदर क्या आ रहे हैं ना जी जी तो मतलब फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक मूवी बनती है तो उसको जो है वो एडॉप्ट किया जाता है और उसको पूरा जो है वो इमेजिनेशन किया जाता है ना मतलब एक अपनी ज़िंदगी में एक फॉर एग्जांपल केजीएफ को ही ले लें तो लोग कहते हैं कि वो अब हर बच्चा जो है वो सोचने लगता है कि मैं भी बहुत जो है वो बहादुर हूँ इस तरह हूँ या बहुत सारी और भी मूवीज़ हैं तो हमारी इंडस्ट्री ने ऐसी हमारी इंडस्ट्री के लोगों ने ऐसा क्या काम किया है मैं एग्ज़ैम्पल देता हूँ कि ऐसी कुतुब्स हैं जिनको पढ़ने के बाद लोगों की ज़िंदगी में तब्दीली आई तो लोगों ने उसको सपोर्ट भी किया हमारे जो है वो गवर्नमेंट लेवल पे भी जो उसको जो है बड़ी पजीराई मिली उनको जो है वो तमगा इम्तियाज़ दिया गया बहुत सारी ऐसी हैं तो इस इंडस्ट्री ने ऐसा क्या किया जिस पे हम देखेंगे बहुत ज़्यादा माशरे के अंदर चेंज आ गया देखें माशरा अगर चेंज अपने आप को करने के लिए राज़ी होगा तब तो पहले चेंज आएगा दो तीन एस्पेक्ट्स हैं आपके सवाल के एक तो ये कि अगर आप, आप कल्चरल प्रस्पेक्टिव से कह रहे हैं तो ये जितनी भी आपकी फिल्में रिसेंटली बनती हैं और जो हिट होती हैं ज़्यादातर लंदन नहीं जाऊँगा पंजाब नहीं जाऊँगा टाइप्स ये आपकी कल्चर को ही रिप्रेजेंट कर रही है ना एक तरह से आप कल्चर हार्डकोर दही में बड़ा वाला मक्खन का पेड़ा डाल के तो सबको नहीं पिला सकते वो तो नहीं हो सकता वो पंजाबी पी सकता है कराची वाला तो मर जाएगा उस तरह तो कल्चर जा नहीं सकता दिमागों के अंदर स्टोरी टेलिंग नेरेटिव एडॉप्ट किया जाता है आज के ज़माने के हिसाब से टू बी टोल्ड टू द ऑडियंस दैट इज़ करेंटली प्रेजेंट वो अगर आप उन किताबों की बात कर रहे हैं जो शायद एक 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 तबके को पसंद हैं दूसरे तबके की एक्सेस नहीं है या वो पढ़ना नहीं चाहते पर किताबें पढ़ते ही इतने थोड़े से लोग हैं लेकिन जो कुछ जो कुछ अच्छा बनाना चाह तो चले मैं आपको वेब सीरीज़ को छोड़ते हैं हम बात करते हैं अभी बिफोर आई स्टार्ट मेकिंग वेब सीरीज़ I produced a drama that was called Alif. That was the most expensive production of Pakistan. That had state-of-the-art production facilities. और उसको बेचना मुहाल हो गया था. और वो कह रहे थे spiritual है कौन देखेगा? कौन लेगा? कौन खरीदेगा? Audience ही नहीं आनी. कहानी जो है ना गाड़ी है. Love story नहीं है. आप ये देखें कि आप as as content producers, as channel owners, आप अपने आप को स्लॉट देते हैं उस चेंज को लाने के लिए अपनी आवाम को सिखाने के लिए हम यूनानिमसली इसमें ना कसूरवार हैं और एक साथ हैं सब के सब तो ये इफ़ दैट आंसर योर क्वेश्चन 
अच्छा मैं सवाल मेरा जो है वो जवाब देते देते शायद और ज़्यादा लोगों का वक्त लेंगे तो मैं अभी मजीद सवाल नहीं कहूँगा मैं सिर्फ कंक्लूड करूँगा इसको कि अक्सर देखें ऐसा होता है कि अर्तगल गाजी के अंदर जो है वो आ, लोगों ने देखा लोगों ने ट्रेंड बनाया बहुत सारी चीज़ें की तो कल्चर एडो हमने देखा कि हमारी तारीख क्या थी लोगों ने ठीक है तो हमारी मूवी से जो है वो अलिफ भी जो है वो बहुत ज़्यादा जो है वो टेन परसेंट देखा गया होगा पाकिस्तान के अंदर ऐसे ही है और उसके अंदर फिर असरात क्या है तो मेरा मकसद ये था कहने का बहरहाल वो हम इंफरादी तौर पर कभी तो हाँ हाँ प्लीज 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 साइन एक एक बस छोटा सा कॉमेंट मैं कर दूँ अर्तुल गाजी जो है ना वो एक मेगा प्रोडक्शन थी जो स्टेट ने सपोर्ट की और उसका जो बिजनेस प्लान था ना वो हमेशा इसी उससे बना था कि ये किन किन रीजन्स में क्रॉस डिस्ट्रीब्यूट हो जाएगा कि इसकी कॉस्ट कवर हो जाए जब आप कंटेंट इस पर से परस्पेक्टिव से बनाते हैं तो वो आपको वाइबिलिटी दे देता है जब आप कंटेंट इस परस्पेक्टिव से बनाते हैं कि इसको जाने से बाहर रोकना कैसे है तो फिर उधर मसले आते हैं वो वो फ़र्क है चीज़ें आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू टेल यू कि मेरे भाई अर्तुल गाजी आपका कल्चर नहीं है बेशक आपको लगे वो बेशक बाहर का कल्चर मैंने, है मैंने कहा हाँ, हमारी तारीख नहीं हमारी तारीख भी नहीं है वो बिकॉज हमारी तारीख मुगल है जहाँ पे हमारे कोर्ट रूम में नाच गाना भी होता था वहाँ पे तो वाइफे भी होती थी वहाँ पे ख्वाजा सर आते थे रॉयल मैनरिज्म से गाने हमारी, से हमारी इंसानी किसकी इंसान है हम इंसानी तारीख हम जाने इंसानी तारीख है हाँ तो इंसानी तारीख तो फिर ग्लैडिएटर भी है फिर उसके बाद बहुत कुछ है यू नो सो एक तो ये बात तो आई थिंक पाकिस्तानी जो है वो अपने कल्चर और अपनी हिस्ट्री के साथ अभी कनेक्ट करने के लिए रेडी नहीं है बिकॉज उनको अपनी हिस्ट्री बिल्कुल अच्छी नहीं लगती तो वो दूसरों की हिस्ट्रियाँ ढूंढ के देख रहे हैं ट्राई कर लेते हैं थोड़ी सी चाइनीज़ थोड़ी सी टर्किश बट ऐसा हो नहीं सकता सो so, और दूसरी बात ये है कि एक फंडामेंटली यू आस्किंग के हमारे मीडिया ने ऐसा क्या किया है कि एक तो ये कि ऑफकोर्स किसी पर कोई कंपल्शन नहीं है किसी पर बंदूक नहीं रख के हमने कहा कि हमारी ज़रूर देखो जिसको नहीं पसंद वो बिल्कुल ना देखे पहली बात है दूसरी बात है कि सब देख रहे हैं हम बड़े हुए हैं अल्फा ब्रावो चार्ली देख के आप सब ने हम सफर भी देखा होगा आपको अच्छा लगा होगा बुरा लगा होगा बहुत मेन स्ट्रीम था परिजात भी देखा होगा पूरे पाकिस्तान ने देखा था तो एटलीस्ट इट गिव्स यू समथिंग टू डू फ्रॉम एट पी टू नाइन पी इन योर लाइफ बिकॉज देर इज वेरी लिटल एवन यूज ऑफ एंटरटेनमेंट इन पाकिस्तान यू डोंट हैव एनी वेयर टू गो आउट सो आई थिंक टेलीविजन डज प्रोवाइड दैट मच एटलीस्ट रिस्पाइट टू अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल whether you like it or not again that's a separate thing but and thirdly media ke upar ya at least entertainment media ke upar film and television ke upar aisi koi responsibility bhi nahi hai ki wo pakistan ko theek karke de ya pakistan mein sara sahi message bataye i am a filmmaker i do not take that responsibility because uske liye aapko school bheja jata hai bachpan mein fir aapko education milti hai aapke maa baap aapki tarbiyat karte hain aapka jo bhi you know so there's a lot if you want to learn how to be a good person there's a lot of other avenues you shouldn't look at media to uh, teach you how to be a good person because if you you know there's a lot of other actual avenues which tell you how to be a good person media especially film and art and tv's job is to make you think and to make you feel certain things and not to teach you anything um, so i think fundamentally us having this pressure on films and tv ke message kya hai aapka message hai mai koi message nahi hai yaar it's just meant to make you feel something if you feel it great don't feel it sorry that's it You know, so don't put the pressure के मैसेज जरूर दें कि क्या है मैसेज के पेट्रियाटिज्म का मैसेज है या नेशनलिज्म का मैसेज है या इस्लाम फॉलो करने का मैसेज है या ना फॉलो करने का मैसेज है ऑल ऑफ दिस इज कॉल्ड प्रोपोगेंडा विच इन आर फील्ड ऑफ आर्ट इज अ बैड थिंग माई क्वेश्चन इज पैनल टू डेट दाई डियर फ्रेंड इज मैंशन दी उर्तुकुल गाजी उर्तुकुल गाजी इज ऑनली दी नेमली शकील मीडिया तो उर्तुकुल गाजी तो इस इट्स ओनली प्रोपोगेट ऑफ उस्मानिया खलीफास हिस्ट्री ओनली नॉट आवर इट्स कन्वर्ट इन टू उर्दू उर्दू वर्जन एंड टू स्प्रेड बट इट इज कीप ऑन दी राइट ऑन दी जस्ट टू यूर करेक्ट इट इज बैन इन गल्फ स्टेट इट इज बैन ऑन गल्फ स्टेट इट इज हिस्टोरिकल मैटर इज कन्फ्लिक्ट बिटवीन उस्मानी खलीफा एंड अरब दैट इज अ डिफरेंट थिंग Of okay, keeping money. My question is, panel, is that that uh, do you mention that the lot of actors and artists are going to Bombay or Bombay film industry, which has huge and biggest film industry, but these actors are banned by Indian side, Indian extremists, Maharashtra government, Bal Thakre regimes, 
and then uh, just to hang and stab and then in our sight hum apni agar koi lata mangeshkar apni zindagi mein aati to hum palkon pe bithate hain aap karachi mein nikal jaye lata mangeshkar ke purane gaane mohammad rafi ke mukesh ke badhte rehte wo cheez kya jodti hai jodti hai ye hindi urdu sirf return ka farq hai baki version to dear arab hai jahan tak aapne kerala ka wo kiya na wo to ek khas region hai ye northern theek hai wo alag alag hai wo jo baat karega wo hindi mein hi karega urdu mein karega media mein takriban 2.5 arab log jo hai na ye urdu hindi bolte hain middle east mein dusri language yahi hai aur wahan aisa nahi hai ki south par theek hai rehte hain log coordinate dubai mein aisi jagah pe rehte hain dusra my question tha ke ye इंडियन फिल्में बैंड कर दी गई हमारी स्क्रीन सैनमा पे विच इज कॉन हम इसको डिजिटली बिल्कुल बैंड नहीं कर सकते नेटफ्लिक्स आपका घर घर में हर मोबाइल पे हर एंड्राइड फोन पे देखा जा रहा है हर फिल्म देख रहे हैं क्योंकि समझते हैं देखते हैं उनको दिल को सब आती है कम्युनिकेट बात वही है जो जुबान से निकले और दिल में उतर जाए वो अपना फ़र्क पूरा कर रही है बॉडी बस ये कि कुछ आपकी साइड से एक्सट्रीमिस्ट हैं कुछ यहाँ गवर्नमेंट कुछ पॉलिटिकल इश्यूज हैं अल्लाह करे वो सॉल्व हो जाएं सिर्फ एक ही है मैं नाम नहीं लूँगा क्या इशू है मेरे ख्याल से इमरान खान भी कहते रहे कि जी ये कर लें वो कर लें तो कुछ ऐसा अंग्रेज ऐसी हड्डी डाल गए हैं जो हम दो अल्लाह ना करें मैं कह रहा हूँ दो कुत्ते लड़ रहे हैं अब वो पता नहीं कब खत्म होगा अल्लाह हाफ थैंक यू सो मच आई थिंक इट वॉज मोर ऑफ अ कॉमेंट सो वी Thank you for being a being a wonderful audience. I hope we were able to take as many questions as we could. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your input and insight. Thank you.